Hi, I'm Serena on the Secure Secret Detection team at GitLab. In this video, I'll show you what it looks like when secret push protection blocks your push from going into your repo because your commits contain secrets, and how to remove the secrets from your commits so you can push your changes. So here, I've got a demo project with secret push protection enabled. Let's create an MR with some changes. Now, let's pretend we accidentally include a secret in this file. This is a fake GitLab personal access token. Let's add it and commit it and try to push it. Let's take a look at this error message. It starts off by saying, my push was blocked because secrets were detected in my code changes. Okay, it makes sense. Uh, then it says that secret push protection found the following secrets in commit and then my commit SHA. Then it says test.txt, which is the file that contains the secret, two, which is the line number that the secret is on, and then GitLab personal access token, which is the type of secret. Then it says to push your changes, you must remove the identified secrets. So let's do that together. Since the secret was in my latest commit, the process to remove it is straightforward. Let's go in and remove the secret from my file. Then let's stage the changes by doing git add test.txt, then modify the last commit to include my updated file without the secret with git commit amend, then push again with git push. The secret has been removed so the push can go in without being blocked by secret push protection. What if the secret got included a few commits ago? Well, the process is a little longer since now we have to fix the git history. First, I'll show you what this looks like in a project that doesn't have secret push protection enabled. So here, in a new project without secret push protection, let's open an MR. Let's add the fake secret again, add and commit it. Let's pretend we keep working and make some new commits. And then, oops, we notice there's a secret in this file, so we erase it. All good, right? Well, no, because the secrets still exist in the commit history. We'll push the whole thing, and remember that we don't have secret push protection enabled in this project, so the secret can go in. Let's go to the commits tab and find the commit that has the secret, and look, it's right there. So even if it's quote-unquote removed from the file, it's still in the git history and still could be leaked to malicious attackers. Once a commit has been pushed to GitLab, you should consider any sensitive data in the commit compromised, since if the commit that introduced the sensitive data exists in any forks, it'll continue to be accessible there. But this is exactly what secret push protection is for. So let's go back to our project that has secret push protection enabled. Let's do the same thing we just did, add the fake secret, add and commit it, make some new commits on top of it, oops, we notice the secret and erase it, try to push, and now we see that secret push protection error message again. It says that secret push protection found the following secrets in commit and then commit SHA. If we do a git log, we can see that the commit SHA lines up with the commit where we added the secret. It tells you exactly which commit to fix, so let's fix it. Copy the commit SHA, then do git rebase-i commit SHA tilde 1 to start an interactive rebase. Mark the offending commits for editing by changing the pick command to edit in the editor. Now let's remove the secret from the file. Stage the changes with git add test.txt, then commit it with git commit amend. Let's keep going until all the commits with the secret in it are fixed by continuing the rebase with git rebase continue. Remove the secret, add and amend the commit, resolve any merge conflicts, and continue the rebase until all the secrets are gone. Now when we do a git push, it goes in. Let's check out the commits tab and click through the changes. We can see that the secret isn't in any of these commits, so there's no leak, hooray! This has been a demo of how to remove secrets from your commits so you can push your changes. The step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this are in our docs, which will be linked in the video description below. If you actually want to push a secret to your repo, say if you're including a fake API token for a test, you'll want to skip secret push protection instead. Check out the video in this playlist called Skip Secret Push Protection Demo for a quick demo on how to do that, 
plus the security measures we take so that skipped pushes can still be monitored. If you're interested in enabling secret push protection to prevent secrets from making it to your repo, the beta is available for GitLab.com and GitLab dedicated customers as of our 17.1 release. Check out this epic for updates. And if you have any questions, reach out to someone on the Secure Secret Detection team. Thanks for watching.